All right, welcome back to Foundation. So I'm sitting on a hillside across from the... What do you want to call it? East side of the village? This side of the village? Anyway, you can see the path that uh, snakes up the hill. My bridge to uh, my new house is right over here. And you can see how steep this hill is. The new area is way up here. But you can also see why shirts clothing fell so fast. All these houses were upgrading. And when you hear that little sound, that upgrade sound, that's a panic sound because you're going to run out of clothing fast, especially with a village of uh, 1,200 plus people. But I need to make another textile district. And so how cool would it be to build a bridge across this divide here? so that you can easily get from one side to another. Yeah, I know you can get across on the little wooden bridges, but what if we put a bridge, you know, from where? From here over to there, you know? Uh, maybe from this corner over to that corner? Uh, yeah, we have all this area over here. We do have these two little plateaus over here. We've got that little berry and the, and the stone, and I could definitely build on to the textile mill. I am building this bridge right here. Uh, you can see it going up right here. Although I didn't expect it to be that high there already, but um, yeah, you can see the bridge going in. And so we could just do more textiles over here. The problem is we already have a lot of shirts being created over here. Um, it might be interesting to put something on this side uh, so we can get the shirts down in this neighborhood. I did put a warehouse of nothing but clothing and, oh, I gotta turn the interface back on. Hold on. That's the fish warehouse. Anybody remember where I put the clothing warehouse? Was it this one? Yeah, clothing. Ooh, 22. 22. Oh, happiness is now 91. But 135 are lacking clothing. Uh, so I've got to deal with the clothing. I, I'm just not... I'm just not... So we have this big tall bridge up there. I have no idea... And again, get... Give, give me some, give me some, there we go. Again, you know, if I put a textile district way up here, where are they going to go? How are they going to get down? It's not very convenient. Uh, who cares, right? Who cares about convenience? Well, you know, for clothing, I don't know. We're awful high up here. I think, and there's no opportunity for a bridge. I think I'm going to try to build a bridge over here. And if I get something that's going to look interesting, I mean, good goodness knows, we could spare the stone. Don't hover over these and get the big old pain of everything. But um, I'll try to build a bridge over here and uh, see what it looks like. And, uh, and then, you know, we'll kind of skip through this episode, basically just showing results as I forward on, power on through 1200, hopefully get the 1300 before the end and uh, have a new textile district set up. All right, so this is what I got. I don't know if I like it or not. It's only 3,533 and we have four stonecutter camps complaining that they're full. This should take care of that problem. I mean, I can always destroy it. It's only stone. And in this version of the game, the stone supply is unlimited. That does connect the two areas. I'm building this bridge here Go ahead and put another textile over here. I mean, we've got the trees for it, right? You know how I like to build... Thank you, Autosave. You know how I like to build the textile district in the trees. So I can do that yet again. Uh, although there's not nearly as many trees as I'd like over here. I kind of cut most of them down, but still. Still, I can space it out a little bit. Where the heck am I going to put the sheep? Alright, fine. No. We put the sheep over here and put a wool warehouse over here. Uh, I'm really not doing good with the camera. Okay, well first off, start construction. That'll take approximately forever. This is a cool looking neighborhood. Let's see if we can walk around the neighborhood. Um, right, it's kind of on a hill here. I mean, imagine, you know, you're here, you're gonna move a house, you're gonna put a house in here. And your view is, uh, well, right now the view is good. You're going to see a big bridge here eventually. But, uh, and I popped off the hill. Can I get back on? 
Give me, give me up. Give me up. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice view of the city. Still have to work on that. Not done. Not even close. 1,210 villagers. I am running on just one speed, so this is slow. Alright, it's done. And you see what I mean? It's puny. That's okay. This is part of the church, right? So, yeah, this is the church. Turn this off. Oh, we have a bailiff. Uh, let me name a bailiff. Wait a minute, the church has a bailiff? Whoa. Um, market revenue, job learning, market revenues. Okay, we'll take you. Uh, then we're going to edit the church with the bailiff. And I'm going to delete these parts. So now, with that done, I don't really want to start... Give me the Lord Manor screen. How can I get the Lord Manor screen up? Mm, let's just close this. There's the Lord Manor. There's the church. Okay, you just have to do it in the right order. <laughs> if I lift this back here, the problem is it's got no windows. Alright, because I want to build up the height, but the windows stay at the bottom, which is kind of goofy. I don't care. So now, can I snap with itself? Yes. Raise this up as well. Same height. Turn off snapping. I'm down at the church. Easy. Easy. How much do you want to bet they're stealing my stone for that bridge? And let's overlap this a bit, like so. Uh, and the bottom windows are now in. Okay, so we'll scoot in a little bit more. So the windows disappear. This isn't tricky at all. Okay, now what do we look like over here? I blocked out that window, which is good. That looks pretty darn good, except for the lack of windows. Right? And this is just... This is actually the core. So now, if I do extension A... Oh, golly. With the goal being to add windows. We will change the brick type, but the brick type will match. The roof will clash. Well, I can just say they bought the wrong roofing type. It's, it's, it's another builder problem. I can hide this in here, kind of put it in the middle. Right? So if I did this... We have the one window down there, that looks good. And we're showing this window. So... I can twist. Alright. Alright, that looks good. It's gonna be different colors. But, uh, you know, that looks... more significant than it used to, and it's definitely a unique look. Right? And uh, while I'm at it, what, what is our treasury at? 36,000? Let's add some more treasuries. I got the chimney. The tax office is just goofy. But uh, if I don't fill out the tax office and I do something like this, it doesn't have any windows on the back, does it? So that's just kind of... I mean... That's something, you know, it's, it's, it's something. Just kind of stick it out so we get one more window. All right, I'm going to keep that just for the heck of it. And we're going to go with the build here. And I could put a door over here. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because this is crazy. This is two things at once. Okay. Uh, Lord Manor start. Close. 
These are tall enough now. Start. And yeah, we need uh, we need lots of stone now. And our stone numbers should have dropped. They haven't dropped that much. But you do have stone right here if you don't let anybody steal it. All right. So that's building. In the meantime, uh, ooh, look. Look, 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 look. Here's the textile district. These are all uh, weaver huts. All of them. And yes, I kept what big trees I could. And then the tailor huts are going to go in front of them. And, uh, but yeah, we're going to have a lot of weavers. And then, if all goes as planned, um, the sheep are going to be all over here on this hillside. And the transporter's job will be to bring the wool over to this side. Right? You get what I'm doing? Uh, you know, will it work? Pretty grand plan, but uh, what the heck? It's it, you know that's a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see if it works. And this bridge is going in, so yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's we're we're at twelve sixteen one x speed. That population's not going up very fast. Ninety happiness. Uh, only a hundred and nine are lacking the clothing now, and twenty eight are lacking housing, because right. Because I was going to put in more housing down here. You're working on the bridge. I shoot, I forget where the bridge was going to go, but uh, hopefully. Give me the green, give me the green. There it is. Uh, we're about at the limit of the bright green, aren't we? Yes. But I had this whole area designated. I'm going to have to put in another church or another market or something. What I could do is put residential up here. A mini church, some markets, residential up here, and all these people work down here. Pretty quick walk, if you see all these dots here. <laughs> Pretty quick walk down into here. Maybe. Maybe. So if I'm sitting on my uh, little wooden bridge here on the other side, at least I can see my mansion. And it's not done yet. The arches aren't done yet, and the new taller part isn't done yet. So I think that's going to look pretty good. It's going to look a little bit like the church, but maybe you see a little bit extra red roof in there. And uh, that bridge looks pretty cool. The uh, I am still actively building on to the new... Uh, you can kind of... Yeah, this is it. You can kind of see the weaver huts going in there on the back here. And then tailor huts or uh, tailor workshops are going to be in the front all the way over here. You can see the bridge going in. And if we turn the user interface back on, we're down to 87 happiness. And the reason being is, is that we've got a food shortage again. I'm putting in more fishing huts. Uh, you know I'm already working on the clothing. The housing... I'm expanding the housing zones. I don't know what they're complaining about. They're upgrading or something. Uh, we are down to 300. I'm sorry. Don't hover over that. We're down to 1,292 stone. So they haven't used up all the stone yet. Although my temporary warehouse up here with the stone, they took it immediately to uh, deliver it to this. So that worked out. So the temporary warehouse near where you're building works out quite well. I wish I had two of them. This would have gone a lot faster. But anyway, right, we're still, we're still building, still building, still adding on more food, more clothing, more housing. All right, well, the bridge failed. You can see they're kind of ignoring it. I put up a no-go zone here, and they're just kind of walking over it as if the bridge doesn't exist, which tells me that uh, this side's broken. So the bridge is gone. Uh, I'm gonna have to do something else with it Since they're doing a path here I'm going to attempt to build another smaller stone bridge right here and Hopefully that will work. I tried a wooden bridge. The wooden bridge looks cool, but there's a lot of wood So let's give this a try so here's the progress on the big bridge and, you know, cross your fingers that this works because this is a ton, an absolute ton of stone. But 
I'm hoping it works. Uh, I've got the textile meal, uh, textile area pretty much set up. All the tailor huts are built. All the weaver huts are built. Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, right now, I've got a lot of stone camps here and a lot of berry camps, but uh, I might tear these down later in favor of putting more textiles up. But in the meantime, I can employ people over here. And then I've got a residential zone set up up here, a very simple small church, pretty much just to raise the land value. And um, you can see that um, the land value is pretty high around here. Get some people to build in here, and then they can easily walk over here to get to their jobs and such. All right, the uh, stone bridge is getting closer and closer to completion. I am working on the sheep farms over on the other side of the hill. Uh, this thing's going to take forever, though, because if you look at it, we're still 2142 out of... I'm guessing that's 3,270-something... Uh, so we've got a lot of stone to go on that. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little wooden bridge down here and expand the residential area on the other side of the river uh, to put some more homes down here, potentially for the sheep farmers, maybe over here as well. Um, and that way I can go ahead and move some people in here and they can take it across the lower route until the main bridge is, uh, is finished. All right, the Lord Manor is finished, and I got to put a door on because these people are walking in here. I don't know who they are or why they're walking in here, but uh, we need a door, and it doesn't want to snap either because there's a couple of pieces here. Let's see if that... Ooh, I wonder if they're going in the church. Yeah, I think you're in the right door, in the right door. Do not come out this way. You're fine. Okay, start construction. There, somebody will build the door very quickly. So here's what it looks like. Uh, these You can tell the church pieces because the lighter roofing. But this looks okay at the top. I kind of like the way that looks. Uh, maybe put a chimney up here. But at least we get the windows up top. And, uh, I mean, it's okay. Right? It's goofy. But I have to work with what we have. All right, and uh, that's my mansion, damn it, and uh, that's the style. It's the, it's the patchwork style. All right, we're out standing in our field, and we're at 13:02. We just passed 1300 while I was away from the computer, letting this thing run. And of course, at some point the quest popped up and uh, stalled my progress. But uh, here you can see the new bridge is going in on the right. It's got about uh, 200 stone left. The new textile is over here. Let's turn on the, off the user interface while I'm doing this. Right, new textile area over here. You can hear that I've put some sheep in over here. We've got the wooden bridge hidden below this hill here. So um, there's a few people living over here that, that are shepherds that uh, can cross the river until this bridge is built. Cross your fingers that this bridge works because man I'm serious that's like a four-hour project right there and I'm even on speed too uh, this bridge is uh, getting finished here's the new residential area halfway up the hill with its own its very own church everything's got its very own church right uh, here's the residential area at the top of the hill uh, building complete stone bridge which one not this one no but see it's 2287 out of 232 something. So I have a feeling that's pretty close. And I like the fact that a lot of builders are still on this. Let's hope it doesn't slow down. Uh, this stone bridge is finished and I don't see anybody taking it. And uh, same over here. Let's do this. And let's see if we can redirect the traffic. I do want, uh, I do want people to be able to get down. All right, but then when you get down, how do I want to do this? I want to say, no, 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 no. You can't, you can't go this way. Let's see. Oh, somebody crossed it right there. And then you're going down. Yeah, yeah that's a, uh, another crosser. Another crosser. All right, it worked. It worked. 
It's always the happiest moment when you figure out it works. All right, go away. Uh, so, what do we got? 31, 31 grand? What's this? I can't plant? Yeah, we don't care. All right, we have people crossing. This is good. Anyway, that bridge, uh, somewhat works. Okay, somewhat works. And we're just waiting for this bridge. This one's going to be interesting to get people to cross. Uh, oh, these warehouses are up. So, let's see where all my people live. I didn't even see the message. It's done. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. How do I get people to cross? That's... That's the million dollar question. How do I get people to cross? Alright, 517, where you live? You don't have a home yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, so what I want to have happen is that I want these warehouse people to cross the bridge. 1,318, 84 happiness. Uh, my workplace is full stone cutter parts. I mean, you know, I don't know what to say. And no go. But, right, so it's time for me to uh, track down and follow some villagers and see if they're lookout. Hold on, hold the phone, pause it, pause it. Yes. You're a weaver. Oh, fine. So the transporters don't come over there and get it, but you, on your own accord, run across the bridge, grab some wool, and come back. You're awesome. You're awesome. I can always trust, trust the weavers to go get it. But yeah, there you go. You're crossing the bridge. That's, that's a long haul, huh? And here's the transporters. Are you one of the transporters? Don't even start with me. Who are you? You're a transporter. You're on a transport mandate. Where are you going? Where are you going? There's wool, you know, so I, I, I told you to pick up wool. There's wool right behind me. But instead, I mean, I, I agree. This is a, this is a nice looking village. You're... Oh, I'm sorry. You're the other transporter. You're picking up the clothes. I'm sorry. Okay? Please forgive me. I'm looking for these jokers. I'm training my villagers to walk on the path I want. So, I wanted them to walk on the grass. I block this off with red. They walk all the way up here and around. So I block this off with red. I finally get them to make a path out here, but now they're turning this way, so I'm going to block this off. I think as soon as I get them to make a path, like this person is, is blazing a trail. They're blazing the trail, right? Then I can delete this, and their path is set, and they won't change. Uh, hopefully. There are still some people walking up and around. I'll leave it a little longer. I think, I think we have a lot of stone now. I'll leave it a little longer. Uh, so far, uh, the weavers have been crossing the bridge to get, uh, wool, but, uh, the transporters have just been ridiculous. So what I'm doing is I'm building one of the, uh, wholesale markets. Camera work, camera work. I'm building a wholesale market, uh, right here. There we go. To sell berries. And they can get the berries from right here. I'm putting in a well right here. So that's needs, right? Because the transporters actually live right up the hill over in this neighborhood. So they ought to be able to get berry. Oh, I sh maybe should have put the berries over here. Anyway, it's close enough. Get the berries. There's another well up here, but it doesn't matter. And then maybe they can be talked into going over here and picking up the wool. What do you think? There's a lot of wool over there. You are all the way. So let me get this straight. You came all the way over here to get wool instead of across the bridge. I don't I don't know what it is. Uh, all I can figure is is that at the time you made that decision, which would have been like five hours ago, uh, there was not enough wool across the way. Now that there is, perhaps you will change your mind and go over there and pick up the wool. What do you think? Stay tuned. Another weaver had to walk all the way over here to pick up wool. Now, who's this other person on the bridge? Who is this? 
another weaver is having to come all the way over here to pick up wool. Or actually going back already. Yep. Yeah, you know, you guys are troopers, I tell you. You you and the long bridges. It's a cool bridge though, huh? Look at that. Uh, yeah, so this is what I'm doing. I'm tracking down everybody and making sure they're walking where I want them to walk. Oh, and by the way, now that I have everybody taking the trail I want them to take, I'm going to remove the forbidden land and see if they stay on the path that I want them to stay on. And then I can re-expand the... You too? Looking to fill your needs. I'm on transport mandate. And where, pray tell... Are you? Oh, you're crossing the bridge. Look at you. Okay. All right. You got cotton. Drop it. Drop it off. Drop it off. Drop it off. Drop it off. You have nine. Nine's better than zero, man. Nine is better than zero. Okay. All right. I'm on the end of the new bridge looking out over the city, and this is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Uh, we are at 1,324 villagers. I have immigration turned off. I have been waiting to record this for happiness to climb back to 90. I'm not going to wait much longer. I'm convinced it will. When you go to speed 2, everybody has trouble doing things. It's like they carry less food. They have less time to pick up stuff. The transporters aren't as efficient. And so you get these supply chain issues. And then when you slow it back down... Slowly but surely, everything everything fixes itself. So now only 61 are lacking food, and that's almost always a secondary food. There's 87 now. Uh, 49 are lacking uh, clothing. 8 are lacking housing. That's a lie. And every stone hut that we have is full of stone. But, uh, right, that is going to be it. Let's just enjoy this without... Uh, can I scoot forward just a little bit? Sure. You can still see the bridge, right? Right down at the bottom there. So, uh, yeah, this gives it... I remember that church was built eons ago. This whole area was built, I don't know, the fourth or fifth episode in? Uh, this silly warehouse is supposed to hold clothing. It hardly ever does. And uh, whoever built this house, I don't know, right, right in splitting the paths, they like their spot. There it goes autosave. And, yeah... Yeah, all the way over there. Pretty big village. And hopefully we can make it to 1,500. I don't, I don't think there's any way I can make it to 2,000. Uh, we're currently at like 21, 22 frames per second, and it's getting noticeably laggy. And so 1,500, yes. 2,000, don't think so. We'll see. But uh, I do want to finish up the city center. I want to uh, fancy up my uh, Lord Manor on the hill uh, a little more and then just get some final touches in. And then I'm not sure when it's going to be. I think it's probably it's probably going to be on a Wednesday episode. I'll do a final tour. The, the whole episode will just be a tour of the entire uh, village uh, stop by stop. And then um, we'll start a new map. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to stop playing or anything like that. That's that's talking crazy. Uh, so far, no news of a content update. But uh, I know somebody in the comments asked about it. And I have my fingers crossed. That it's going to be a nice surprise at some point. But uh, who knows? Who knows? All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later. Just gonna check real quick. 87. 87, 88. I could wait. But not this time. 80. I'm calling 90. It's close enough.